Hey guys, and welcome to day 28 of 31 days of Halloween K-pop. Today we are going to be watching Tiara, Lovey Dovey. I mentioned in a video years ago that this is one of my top five Halloween K-pop MVs. I kind of tried to save the best ones for last. You may not agree with the videos that I have chosen, but these are my favorite. Although I feel like the video I plan on doing tomorrow is not really a Halloween video, and I feel like maybe I should change it and not do that one. Tomorrow's video is a video I just kind of wanted to talk about on my channel and watch with you guys just because I really like it. So I sort of just slid it in here as an excuse, but I'm still not sure if I'm going to do it. I might, I might not. So either way, I just hope that you guys aren't mad at me if I do that one instead of some other video. But enough about tomorrow, let's go ahead and watch the MV for today. All right, Tiara, lovey-dovey, zombie version, Lego. I love her sparkly belt. I haven't watched this video yet this year, so it's about heckin' time. I feel like I'm at the club too. I'm just kidding. I don't know what that feels like. I've literally never been to a club in my life. I love how they make the sound muffled. Like you're actually there in the bathroom of the club. Oh no, girl, you better watch out. <laughs> Don't turn around. <laughs> oh. I love how the song is just so upbeat and like makes you want to dance. This is another one that you can tell is super old based on the fashion. I don't know if you guys saw, but Tiara was just doing performances of their older songs recently. You should go check it out. They did like sexy love and everything. I almost did sexy love this month, but I was like, uh, that's really not Halloween enough. Was that the girl from Five Dolls, by the way? This shuffle dance was so famous. Definitely iconic. And the like little hair washing move. Oh, here we go. How did it get that far before anyone reacted? I love those shiny outfits. Oh, they only have like one security guard and he's just like beating at them with his stick. Really helpful. Uh, 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 
Oh yeah, that probably was the girl from Five Dolls, because... I should have warned you ahead of time that this will probably get stuck in your head. Oh no! Here comes the horde! This reminds me of Left 4 Dead 2. Not Left 4 Dead 2, but also. And I love this, like, sort of homage to Michael Jackson with their outfits and everything and the whole zombie theme. And the zombie flash mob. I think part of the reason why this song is so addictive and gets stuck in your head is because it's so repetitive. I just want to get up and do the dance. They all had to stand still while the camera panned across. How did she survive? The beginning of the video did not make it look like she was okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imitating them. Just kidding, she's not fine. Now she's gonna go infect everyone else. All right, so that was Tiara Lovey Dovey. I'm sure it's gonna be stuck in my head now for the rest of the night. Who knows, maybe the rest of the week because it's just such a catchy song. And also I realized that probably was the girl from Five Dolls because they were like under the same company and also one of the members from Tiara was in the co-ed school MV, Beady Boom Beady Boom, so it makes sense. Also, as we're into the last week of 31 Days of Halloween K-pop, I think the videos are going to get like longer and longer, like the MVs, not my videos necessarily, but just the actual music videos themselves because all the best Halloween K-pop MVs are like movies almost, and they are much longer than your average MV. Even this one ran a bit long, but we even have longer ones than this coming up in the next couple of days. Although tomorrow's video, if I still end up doing the one I originally planned on doing, won't be a long one, but then the final two, those will be the longest ones of all. I almost did TXT Eternally, which is like 20 minutes long, but then I decided not to do that one this month because I felt like it might be too boring in terms of a reaction, but I do think that you should go check it out yourself. I love how dark it is and how it keeps switching between like anime and then live action, dark and then brighter, and which is how the song itself is. It's like really dreamy and peaceful sounding and then it suddenly shifts and becomes really dark and sinister and it kind of gives me goosebumps just like in BTS's interlude shadow. Every time it shifts at the end of the song and it's like sounds really evil, I just get goosebumps. Even talking about it gives me goosebumps. Anyway, that concludes day 28. We are almost done with this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it would really mean a lot to me and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!